Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So we had a morning at the Osborne household. That happens times for those of you that have children. A shit show, right? Things don't necessarily go according to plan. Even with everything laid out, even with lunches made, even with, like, you know, it's just sometimes you got kids are resistant and I need this and I won't do this and I don't want to go and, you know, it really tests your patience and, and your resilience. Talked about a recent podcast episode and, uh, you know, just really like how can I be creative in getting my child out the door? I can choose yelling, I can get angry, I can, but let me try to choose something different, right? And so in this, my husband this morning was kind of stressed out. He's trying to get our youngest to daycare and bringing my oldest to school. And uh, I've been there. I've been there many times, like many times. So like, I totally get it. But I was just in a better space this morning and just chose to be like, how can I make this happen, right? So I can see as he's getting kind to his car seat, he's texting his trainer to say, hey, I can't make it. And what I've noticed, and I understand, and I know he's feeling stressed. He's like, I won't be able to get back on time. And I was just like, babe, like you got this. Do not put your workout aside. Like it matters, right? And what I've noticed about my husband, Ed, and and the reason I bring up the story is because I think it's really relatable because I've been there before too, is that for him, if the conditions aren't ideal, then then he'll bail, right? And this is not a knock at Ed whatsoever because I've been there before too, but I've noticed this, that he'll go, oh, well, now I don't have time, and now I don't have, da, 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 you know. So if, if everything doesn't, if the planets don't align, then fuck it. I'm going to cancel stuff. I'm going to bail out. And then, so here's the thing. Like, that can be a choice. That can be like, hey, you know what? This is just not going to happen. So, like, I'll give you another example. Last night, husband and I came back from day night, went to see a movie, had lots of fun, and I had booked a chiropractic appointment because the only time I could get in for my son Tyson for this morning at 7.30 in the morning. I was like, yeah, yeah, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Without kind of going, wait a second, he doesn't wake up till about 7-ish. We'd have to leave the house at 7.15, like, had food already, and then we're going to have to hang out for like an hour before. My son Tyson tired? Not good. You know, we're already working with a lot of stuff that's happening with school and choices he's making with behavior and challenges with learning. And so if you now add tired into the piece it's like it just sets him up for failure right so I'm like okay you know what before we go to bed I'm like I'm gonna email um backfit and just say I'm so sorry but like we can't make it let me get back to you at a better time because like before school that early in the morning for Tyson it's not gonna be good it's not gonna be good right so there's times that you can make a choice about hey this is not a good choice it's not gonna work out and really own that decision, right? Just so like I was like, it's not a snipe because I was like, oh man, I have brought him to get checked for a couple of weeks. I really want to be bringing him to get checked every two weeks, if not weekly, because I know how much that making sure his nerve system is clear really helps him with a lot of the stuff that comes up with the behaviors and learning and all that, right? Just his body functions better, where therefore his brain and his moods and all this kind of stuff. Everything I would see in practice when I used to be in practice as a chiropractor. And I know I know it'd be true, and it'd be true for me too with, with my regular care. And so... But I realize is like him getting adjusted and the benefits of that actually in this situation didn't outweigh, didn't outweigh the, the negatives, what were most likely going to happen if I got him up tired and or forced him out the door before he had enough rest and just set him up for a shitty fucking day. And I own that, right? I, was, I wasn't like, oh, why did I do this? I should have set it up. Why can't they fit me another time? And all this kind of stuff. It's like, nope, it's not going to work, right? However, what I what I experienced and what I saw for me, what I saw for me and what I saw with Ed this morning was just like, oh, fuck it. No, it's not going to work out, right? And that's okay. And he can own that decision too, right? But what I'm going to, what I'm going to challenge you to really think about today, sister. And because again, I know this has been true for me. I know this is true for you. But are you waiting until all the planets align, until everything's perfect? Oh, look, I have this whole chunk of uh, time now. I'm going to go to the gym. 
I've done this with my writing. I'm writing a book right now. It's like barely started. I got the, I have the outline. I have all my chapters. I have the title. It's like, I just need to sit down and write. And like, I can write. I can write. It's not an issue for me to sit down and write. But what's been getting in the way? What's been getting in the way for me is I go, well, unless I have a huge chunk of time, it's not going to happen. So now I've just kind of resided to the fact of, okay, let me commit to an hour a day of just writing. I have not just the book, but I have other things that I'm copy for new some of you receive some of my newsletters sequences that come on a daily basis those all need to be kind of updated and refreshed and all this kind of stuff and it's like okay let me do an hour a day and it doesn't have to look like a whole chunk of an hour right I'm waiting for the planets to align it seems like there's a lot of things that keep getting in the way of me having that full hour even though I've planned it out like some, something's come up like life happens sometimes right and stuff with the kids or something else I need to take care of and Schwack of you that want journals and so I'm like like a busy bee getting all that shit together and package up and custom forms and the, you know it's just it's okay it's okay no stories about it it just is but yet I've chosen past to see this as well if I don't have this if the planets aren't all aligned that everything's quiet in my house and I have an hour and the kids are in school and daycare and I can sit on the laptop and no one's had like urgent email or stuff with my husband stuff with my kids then I can make it happen and the thing is is like it's not going to be what I want it's not moving me forward with my book like I know that Ed's decision is not going to move him forward with doing the thing that is important for him which is to move his body every single day and making fitness and his health a priority are you waiting for everything to be perfect for the planets to all align in order for it to happen and is that is it getting you what you want is it getting you what you want because because this is what it really comes down to sister there is no fucking perfect like it does not exist it's a fucking unicorn you know, I know you've had days where everything comes together. You're like, this is awesome. Look at my to-do list. Crushed it. Like, you know, you feel like you're superwoman because, you know, you just, you, you moved around like a fucking wildebeest looking for the right, like, animal creature to f- find in my brain here. Like a, you know, crazy fucking person. And like, oh, I did it. See? <sighs> and like, you simply just, you can't recreate that shit on a consistent basis. It's just, it's just not possible. Because you're waiting for everything to be perfect. And, you know, this could be coming up in your marriage right now, too. Well, listen, if he doesn't do do-do-do with, you know, that's not, that's not how I would explain it. If he doesn't do X, Y, Z, then I'm not going to do X, Y, Z. If he doesn't send me the text message, I'm not going to send it. If he doesn't, like, do something for me, then I'm not going to do it for him, right? Or, or it, it more so is this, is like, well, I'm not really feeling like it. So when I'm feeling loving, then I'll send that text message. When I'm feeling loving, I'll let him know that I love him too. When I'm feeling loving, then I'm going to, you know, show him physical connection. I'm going to kiss him, hug him, say like, let's go upstairs. What do we, let's do this tonight. Like whatever. Like, are you waiting for everything to be perfect? The perfection, the planets align. The situation that you've set up, which is a fantasy and does not exist. So here's your more tip today. Where are you doing that? Where are you waiting for the planets to align? Is it with your health, right? Are you saying, well, you know, when, when my family's not in town and when it's not Halloween, when it's not Christmas, then I'll start, stop putting all this shit in my body. Is it with your marriage? An example I just gave now. Is it with, is it with um, your kids? You know, like, well, I'll have the time to, like, sit down and do this stuff with them or play or, or, you know, create this special thing we're going to do or just simply, you know, I'm just going to spend, like, 10 minutes with the kids every single day as a consistent thing and connect with them. But, you know, I can't do it now because it's hockey season and I can't do it now because, like, we got a vacation coming up and I can't do it now. You know, you're waiting for the perfect time that doesn't exist so figure out number one where is that happening for you and here's the second piece of this what is it costing you to not take action okay so I can take a look at my book for example what it's costing me is that you know I'm not getting a project well I'm not getting it done which that affects me and that doesn't make me feel good and it means I'm not keeping my word now I still have until December the 13th to get this draft ready which I've set up as a deadline for myself in this current 90-day outcome what my inaction is costing others is that they're not getting this message. 
right? There'll be some that have never heard the podcast, but they'll read a book, right? Everyone gravitates towards different ways to, to learn and to consume content and to really hear a message. Some of you, it's audio and therefore you're listening to this podcast. Some it's video. You need to see it. Some of you, you need to see it. You need to read, you know, reading for you is the way you take it in. And so I really work hard at creating my messaging where it hits all those. You'll see me win video. You'll see me writing, writing things. So, you know, posts on Facebook, Instagram, and you're going to see also, or pardon me, you can listen to me and hear my voice this podcast three times a week. And then when you find it, like so many of you do, you've got like fucking like literally you could like days and days of podcast episodes because this we're in the three fifties now. That's a lot of podcast episodes. So what, what is the, what is the area that you're waiting for the planets to align before you take action? What is it costing you to not take action? And what is the inaction costing others? I know for some of you, you'll like put yourself aside, but for others, you'll be like, oh my God, what it's costing them is this. And that will move you. That will motivate. That'll hit you. That'll resonate and land with you. So if you know that about yourself, use that. If you go, oh, no, no, for me, it's not a big deal. But if you know how it affects others and that's what's going to, going to drive you, then, then use how you are. Knowing how you really operate and how your brain functions. And journal all of that. Don't just think of this in your head. Write it down. Your journal is your personal scripture. That's why I decided to create these limited edition women wanting more journals and to give them away for free. And then you have no excuse, right? Like, I'm going to fucking send it to you. You take care of a little bit of shipping. I send all the rest. And there's lots of cool stuff that's coming in that package. So if you don't have one, by the way, make sure to go over to drkarenosrum.com slash free journal. The clickable link will be in the show notes. You can just click on that. And that will be shipped off to you within about a week period of time. And you'll receive it within a couple of weeks, depending on what part of the country. Because if they've gone to, here we go. We've got UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, US. And uh, actually, I think we got another country coming up this week, which is uh, South Korea. Cool, right? Oh, Singapore too. I missed that. Singapore. Lots. Happy to send that. So drkarenosrum.com slash free journal. And we are almost at a thousand women in the Women Want to More Experience Facebook group. It's a free closed Facebook group. So where I put questions in a couple times a week, they're either written or video, again, different ways that some of you consume information and learn and to really see what's possible when you begin to do this work. And so I created this to really start to have more of a community where a lot of you could interact with each other and see that you're not alone. Because some of you are like, I'm not ready for the sisterhood yet. Right? I'm not ready for that, or I'm not ready to come to live event. I'm not ready for one-on-one coaching. Or you might even just stay at, th- at this level, and that's totally fine too. I just really want to help you to understand and discover your power, because I fully believe that if you plugged into the power that you are as a wife, as a mother, as a woman, that there would be more love in the world, period. This is why I do what I do. This is my deep why. So to join this Facebook group, all I have to do is go up to Facebook, go to the search bar, type in women wanting more experience. And as long as you're a female and you don't have a fake account, because I check that out quickly, then I will add you to the group immediately. So I will talk to the next episode, sister. A life of more is one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip. Subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.